Okay guys, undisclosed location on the Gulf Islands and I've been spreading trachycarpus seed in this wet area for years. There's several wet areas in here. You can see the skunk cabbage. When you see skunk cabbage, you know it's always wet. So this is always full of water in the winter time. It freezes in the coldest months. So mid uh, January 2024, these were growing in the ice. Look at how good they Look at these trachycarpus palms. There's more over here. And hopefully nobody messes around with them. Because a lot of people walking through this forest trail. And uh, oh, there's tons of them down here. Here's a big one. Bigger one. And then in here, I gotta watch where I step. Look at them all. They're kind of hidden under the ferns, right? Here. And uh, that's not all of them. There's more over here too. Should be, unless somebody plucked them out. It's still wet in here. Oh yeah, there's lots of them in here. Growing with skunk cabbage. Oh, nice. Oh, look at the size of that one. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at them all. So many trachycarpus palms growing here. It's just so wet, too. And there's a pond actually beside it, but oh, there's a frog. <laughs> a tree frog right there. And a bigger one right there. Trachycarpus fortunae. I like to call variant swan sony. Sony either. Thousands of them growing in here. Literally thousands, way over there too. So there you go. There's an update on the forest trail palms here on the Gulf Islands in the North Pacific. Thanks for watching. Cheers.